technique step four. So these are arpeggios, meaning arpeggiated triads or triads where we're playing three notes all together. We're going to play them one note at a time, arpeggiate them. So these are the black key starting note arpeggios. They have different fingering. Sometimes it can be tricky for people. So let's first look at our notes. Note, whole, whole, half, whole. We've learned that. So let's say D flat major. That would be our pentachord we've learned. And we're going to just extract the first, third, and fifth degrees of that scale, uh, which happens to be our first, third, and fifth fingers in the right hand. And those are our notes of our triad, our major, D flat major triad. But now I can actually start on a two. Two, put my one on F, two on A flat, four on D flat. And then I go back down. Okay, and once again, as I mentioned the other one, we want to move, as I mentioned in the previous video, we want to move as little as possible, as efficient with our movements. So don't, you know, raise your elbow and really turn over. Just sneak, just sneak as small a movement as you can. This is so that when you go fast, we don't have time to do big movements. So start now to think fast. Okay, left hand is going to start with a two, one, and then here's our biggest movement, right? So how can you point your knuckles in the direction of travel, and when you play the one, can you already start to move your hand so that you've got it on that four? So thinking ahead when you'll play fast. Okay, so now I won't spend as much time on the technique, I'll just play the notes. So E flat, E flat with a two. Actually, I think I should have included that in technique step two. Maybe it's better I don't, but um, it's all black, so it's kind of the same fingerings as the all whites. Just a little more awkward. Maybe more awkward when we add this two octaves to it, which we'll do later. Okay, then A flat is just like D flat and E flat were two, one, two, four. even though it's black, white, white, 